What is going on guys and welcome back to another random lure challenge. So today I'm making some jigs, uh, just basic, you know, drop down jigs. The walleye are slowly coming back and I've been wanting to use these gulp minnows. And on this channel, I can't just go out and use a jig and use these. I will have to make the jig. So that is what I'm doing today. I'm gonna try a few different things. Now, obviously they make molds for jigs. You know, you melt the, the lead, pour it in a mold and it makes your jig. I don't have one of those jigs and I'm not gonna do that. That's too easy. So I'm gonna try to attach some basic weights. I have my kit here for on my tackle, some of it. And uh, I'm gonna be taking random weights, split shot weights, whatnot, and attaching it to J hooks. So that's what I'm gonna try to do today. And then we're gonna go out on the docks and jig these gulp minnows for some walleye. All right, so I'm gonna be taking just a normal J hook here and adding weight to it. I mean, it's as simple as that, real easy. First off, I'm gonna start with a split shot weight. I just think that would be the easiest thing to do. Obviously, just pinch the split weight onto the J hook, right? So we'll try that for one. I'm also going to be like epoxying these and painting them, making them look somewhat decent. Somewhat not so basic, you know? <laughs> but I'm just gonna pinch this right here. I mean, already, that looks like a jig. <laughs> and I'm going to use some baking soda and super glue to fill in that gap, just so it stays on. And I'm also going to be epoxying it. But for now, to get that to stick on, baking soda, super glue. Now that guy is not gonna move or slide down the hook. So I'm just trying to use the baking soda and super glue to make it more round. Fill in all the little gaps. I think I'm happy with that. Looking like a jig. First jig is complete, that simple. I'm gonna clean up this eye, get all this super glue and baking soda off of it. On most jigs, the eye is on top, so it kind of sits flat like this, but with my jig, it's gonna be hanging upside down like this. So when I bounce it, it may have some crazy flipping action, but. All right, jig number one is done. I'm still gonna be painting this, adding eyes to it, all that good stuff, but for now, I want to move on to a different idea I have. That looks terrible. <laughs> oh man. Not the best looking hook. I'm gonna restart. I am gonna trash this hook and try. I tried bending this end and it just broke off. So that's not really an option if you're wondering. Fucking it broke off. <sighs> well, this may be a fail. Unless I can cut a slot in the dang tungsten weight. All right, I'm gonna try one more way to do this. And that is by cutting, cutting into this egg sinker here, egg weight. I'm gonna, respirator, do not wanna inhale lead. So I got that cut into the weight. And I'm just gonna be sticking that around a hook just like so easy peasy and I'm going to pinch that shut weighted hooks that's all a jig is all right so here are our two jigs but that's it now I'm going to paint these guys up what colors I want one chartreuse I think I'm gonna start with white, just so it makes all the colors super bright with like not many coats. Because I wanna get out there and go fish right now. I'm gonna tape up the hooks and we will go to town painting. I'm trying to smooth out the weights as best as I can. I don't want any like horrible globs because that will show up in the paint. I mean, these are tiny little jigs, not too worried about it, but. 
If I can make him look nice, I want to try, you know? If I'm not trying my best, why am I trying? Alright, so now that we got a white coat, this may not be necessary, but I think I want to do a layer of epoxy because it is pretty rough. It's a rough surface from the baking soda and super glue. So I think a quick, thin layer of epoxy, heat it with a lighter. I think that will smooth it all out. So guys, I'm gonna keep using this tray here until it is completely full of epoxy. We'll see how long that takes. I'm definitely burning that epoxy, but it's gonna get painted over, so I don't have to worry about it. Again, just want a really smooth surface. All right, I'm gonna try to paint this again. Should be a whole lot smoother now. All right, I got a tiny little drill bit. I'm just gonna add some eyes to these jigs. I'm gonna be using a fine point Sharpie to draw the little lines on this guy, so. I think that's good. We got a little bit of detail. I'm just gonna leave it at that before I run it. And I think I'm just gonna leave this one just yellow, just chartreuse, just like that. Very basic, but it will do. I'm gonna do one last coat of epoxy, and then we can take these bad boys to the lake and go test them out. All right, I'm gonna let these harden for maybe 30 minutes or so, and then we will head out to the lake. Throw some gulp minnows on them. Hopefully go catch some fish. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with how these jigs came out. I mean, for starting out, just putting some weights on a hook, which like I said, that's all a jig is, is a weighted hook. But uh, these look pretty sick. All right, I made it to the lake. I'm going to set up two poles with these two jigs, and we will go catch some voila. Hopefully. It feels weird tying a jig on like this. Straight ahead. Usually it's on top. So that threw me off a little bit already. But no biggie. Start deep in about maybe 50 feet of water. And we'll work our way down. It's a lot windier than I thought. Oh well. The walleye like the wind. There is our jig. Let's drop it down. <laughs> no, a that'd be cool. A little tech deck yeah. lure. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Dave, can I steal a minnow? Yeah, I think I got like five of them. They're running for two bucks a piece. Two bucks a piece. Gotcha. <laughs> you only have five? I don't know what we got in there. Yeah. Oh, there's a few in there. Yeah. They're big, dude. <laughs> you had, you, big ones. You've had these for a while, huh? Like, yeah, like probably five. Hey, there's the duck. He's like, did someone say big minnows? I kind of want a small one. Yeah. All right, thanks, man. Sure. Oh, you two bucks. Ten. Ten. Oh. Raise the price after I grab it, huh? <laughs> yeah. All right. I uh, stole a minnow from Dave. I'm gonna throw it on a jig. Dang. Dropping down a minnow. All right, I'm gonna let that minnow sit there as I bounce. The gulp over here. Hey, did you 
Did you ever look? Oh, I just missed one. I had a freaking fish on. I set the hook and missed it. Dang it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that duck might actually eat it. Yeah, I bet he will. Alright, we're on, baby. This is on the minnow. I just missed a fish on the gulp. Oh, catfish. Call it a little caddy. The other thing is so white. Little channel on the jig. That first fish bit my freaking tail off, but this catfish still went for it. Maybe that first fish was a catfish. Oh, this is the gulp. I thought this was a live minnow. Never mind. I got a little uh, cat. Really? On the gulp? Just sitting there? Yeah, on the homemade jig, baby. I thought for sure that was the live minnow. My bad, guys. Little turd though, man. Pretty fish though. You know what? I'm gonna take a picture of this guy. In the future, if I ever build a channel catfish lure, I wanna base it off of this guy because it is super pretty. So I'm gonna take a picture of it just so I can see the size and the color. All right, I got some pictures. We'll let him go. But yeah, that guy was real cool. I like his colors. All right, Dave, I'm out of here. These fish aren't biting. <laughs> 